in a minute. Oh. Sorry, yes. Good morning. <laughs> I'm being handed, handed tins of food immediately, which is wonderful. Um, good morning and welcome to Thornhill Baptist Church. If I can encourage you to take your seats now, that would be fantastic. Hello and good morning to everyone watching online. Um, for those of you that don't know me, um, my name is Ellen and I'm the children's and families worker here. And I'm Anne-Marie and I'm on the leadership team here. It's lovely that you have joined us this morning for our harvest celebration. Brilliant. Lots of children have just walked into the building with all of their bags of food and we're going to explain what we're going to do with those um, a little bit later. Um, but before that, Anne-Marie is just going to talk to you about our Connect form. Okay, so we would love to welcome you if you are new to uh, Thornhill Baptist Church. Perhaps you've not been here before or you've only been here for a couple of weeks. Please, please, can we encourage you to fill in our Connect form. You can find one at the back of the welcome desk or go to our uh, website and they're on the website. Uh, we'd love to get to know, to know you a little bit better and someone will be in touch um, if you were to fill one in. Brilliant. Um, we are going to go into a time of worship shortly, but just before we do that, I'm just going to open this morning's service in prayer. God, we thank you that we can come together as family, both in person and online, and that we can worship you. God, we thank you that your spirit is here with us. As we come to worship you now in singing, I just pray that you would be with us that you would open our hearts to you and that we would go away this morning having learned something new about you and having built a, built a more stronger relationship with you. We just pray that you would bless our time together now. In your loving name, amen. amen. I'm going to hand over to Simon and the band. Good morning. If you are willing and able, please stand and we will worship together. Let our praise be your welcome. Let our songs be a sign. We are here for you. We are here for you. Let your breath come from heaven. Fill our hearts with your life. We are here for you. We are here for you. To you our hearts are open, nothing here is hidden, you are our one desire. You alone are holy, only you are worthy, God, let your fire fall down. Let your shout be your anthem. Your renown fill the sky. We are here for you. We are here for you. Let your word move in power. Let what's dead come to life. We are here for you. We are here for you. To you our hearts are open, nothing here is hidden. You are our one desire. You alone are holy, only you are worthy. God, let your fire fall 
To you our hearts are open. To you our hearts are open. Nothing here is hidden. You are our one desire. You alone are holy. Only you are worthy, God. Let your fire fall down. We welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise. Almighty God of love, be welcomed in this place. We welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise. Almighty God of love, be welcomed in this place. Let every heart adore. Let every soul awake. Almighty God of love, be welcomed in this place. We welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise. Almighty God of love, be welcomed in this place. To you our hearts are open, nothing here is hidden. You are our one desire. You alone are holy, only you are worthy. God, let your fire fall down to our hearts. To you our hearts are open, nothing here is hidden. You are our one desire. You alone are holy, only you are worthy. God, let your fire fall down. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. You never change. You never fail, oh God. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. You never change. You never fail, oh God. So we raise up holy hands to praise the Holy One who was and is and is to come. Yeah. To praise the Holy One who was and is and is to come. True are your promises. True are your promises. You never change, you never fail, oh God. True are your promises. True are your promises. You never change, you never fail, oh God. So we raise holy hands. So we To praise the Holy One who was and is and is to come. Yeah, we raise up holy hands to praise the Holy One who was and is and is to come.
Wide is your love and grace. Wide is your love and grace. You never change. You never fail, oh God. Wide is your love and grace. Wide is your love and grace. You never change. You never fail, oh God. So we raise up holy hands to praise the Holy One who was and is and is to come. Yeah, we Brilliant. Okay, so I think you might have guessed it's harvest, um, and we're going to just explain to you a little bit about our harvest giving this year. So this morning, um, there are two different ways that you can give to our harvest appeal. Firstly, if you have bought um, some tins of food um, and some produce, uh, we will be asking you in a moment to bring them forward. Uh, during the next song. So you can put them on the benches in front. They are going to be split uh, between Southampton City Mission, who uh, do amazing work in our city, and also our local food hub that works here on a Friday. Brilliant. Um, we're also supporting BMS. We support BMS every year. Um, this year it is called Days of Plenty, and we're supporting um, farmers in Uganda. On your seats or on a seat near you, you may have seen an envelope. Um, if you would like to support the BMS Appeal, please do pop something into that envelope, and then you can post that envelope into our um, giving boxes um, by both 
exits. If you want to know more information about the BMS appeal, we're going to watch a short video in just a moment. But also on that envelope, there's a QR code which you can scan with your phone if you know how to do such things. Um, and that will give you, take you to the website. But that envelope is also covered um, with further information about that appeal. So we're just going to take a quick look at the BMS video. We lost a number of people in northeastern Uganda due to famine. And this situation is heartbreaking and is affecting a number of people like Papra. There is a big difference in farming compared to when I was young and growing up. It is very unreliable. But if I don't farm, I have nowhere to get food. So that is how I get motivated to keep on working hard. Lovely. So if you would like to support BMS, please do um, pop some money into those envelopes and pop them in the boxes um, at the end of the service. Um, we are going to sing again in just a moment. Um, during this song, um, we are going to take collection of any food gifts that you might have brought. So once that song um, has started, um, please do come up and see myself and Anne-Marie, and we are going to build a display of um, all the gifts that you've brought. Um, during that song, for those um, watching at home, you will only get the words on the screen because not everybody wants to be on live streaming. So please do feel free to come up, safe in the knowledge that you're not going to be recorded because um, those at home will only see the words. And miraculously, when you come back, guys, at home, this will be completely full, we hope. Um, so it'll be a bit like magic. Um, so I'm going to invite Simon and the band up. And we're going to start that song. And then once that song started, please do start coming up with your gifts. And we will build a display. But I'm just going to move this out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I forgot to say, please stand. <laughs> and everyone needs compassion, love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a saviour. The hope of nations Savior, He can move the mountains My God is mighty to save He is mighty to save Forever, author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. So take me as you find me, all my fears and failures. Fill my life again I give my life to follow Everything I believe in Now I surrender The Saviour, He can move the mountains my God is mighty to save, He is mighty to save forever, author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave, Jesus conquered the grave, and Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever, 
for our salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen King. Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Offer of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Wow, brilliant. Let's just um, say thanks to God for his goodness to us and these amazing gifts that have been given this morning. Lord, we just thank you for everything that you give to us. We thank you that you are such a good, good God and that you give us what we need day by day. We just pray now for these gifts that have been given. We pray that they may be used wisely and given to those that really need them. And may they be blessed knowing that somebody really cares about them and know your love through these gifts. Amen. Amen. Please do be seated. Thank you so much. Okay, so today's service um, is the final part of the All Age series that we started in the summer. So over the summer, we did a series um, of All Age services called Teachers to Pray, looking at the Lord's Prayer. If you went out to going deeper during the summer series, um, then you won't have any idea about what we did in here because you were looking at something different. So I just wanted to recap um, the Lord's Prayer, which we were like, guys, can I encourage you to come and sit with your folks? That would be so fantastic. And then you can have your listening ears on and your eyes on me or on the screen. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. Guys, with your folks, sit with your folks. Brilliant. Excellent job. Thank you so much, guys. So we were looking at the Lord's Prayer. The version on the screen might not be as familiar to you, um, but for those of you that were here during the summer series, it is. So what I would love for us to do is I'd love for us to read out um, this version of the prayer together. Let's go. Our Father in heaven, help us to honour your name. Come and set up your kingdom so that what you want to happen does happen like it does in heaven. Give us our food for today. Forgive us for doing wrong as we forgive others. Keep us from being tempted and protect us from evil. Brilliant. So those of you that were here during the summer series, can anyone guess which is the part of the prayer that we haven't covered yet and that we might be covering this morning? Any, any sort of, any guesses? Thanks, Penny. Thank you so much. You're absolutely right. It is give us food for today. And there it is, highlighted for you all to see. So those of you that might be more familiar with the older version, or the traditional version, should we say, does anyone know what that's, that part of our prayer says in the traditional version? Can anyone tell me? Wendy, go for it. Give us this day our daily bread. Awesome. So we're going to be talking a little bit about bread, a little bit about food later on. I just wanted to check that you all knew. So I'm going to hand over to Anne-Marie now, and she is going to do something special. We're going to get some chairs up there, aren't we? Okay. Put 
put those there. Okay. Kind of have to be. <laughs> okay. Well done, Mina. Can you see? Are you sure? You need to do something else for you, though, because you need to eat in a minute. Okay. Right. Are we okay, Zoe? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm not cheating on it. So, thinking about bread, I went out and bought a whole selection of different breads. So I'm going to give Zoe and Mina some different breads, they're going to taste them and try and work out what type of bread they're eating, okay? Ooh. So we will start with Mina. Right, I'll put it in a bowl. Right, Mina, I'm going to put the bowl here so you can hold it. Can you feel the bread inside the bowl? I don't want to touch it. There you go. Yes, okay. Right. Yeah, have a taste and see if you can tell me what type of bread you think that might be. Is it nice bread? Yeah. <laughs> he likes it. Woo! What do you think? It tastes like seeded bread, he said. I mean, Nina, you are absolutely correct. That is Sainsbury's taste of different seeded bread. <laughs> well done! <laughs> what a bread connoisseur. <laughs> well done. Right. Sorry, are we ready for yours? Guys. <laughs> what do you think it's bread? It's just bread. <laughs> bread. You kind of want like a, a sort of a type of bread you think it might be. Hang on. I'm trying to use all my senses there. Yeah, it's a good good thing to do. Yeah. It's just bread. Any guesses? Come on, you've got to have a guess. Have a shot. Soft bread. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <yeah. laughs> I really don't know. Unfortunately, that is the wrong answer. Aww. It is cheese bread. No, that ain't cheese. It is cheese <laughs> no. bread. You just didn't eat the bit with the cheese on it. No, that's not cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no. I disagree. Okay, Mina, are you ready for round two? You are in the lead at the moment. One nil. Right. Okay. Okay, Mina, there you go. You can feel it in the middle. That's it. Pick that up. I'll take the bowl from you. Is this still bread? <laughs> it is definitely bread. I promise you we're not going to give you anything other than bread. What type of bread do you think it is? How does it feel? Can you explain it? It feels smooth on the outside, yeah. But it hasn't got the crumbles like normal bread. I don't know. Not sure? Yeah, I pass. You're passing on that one. Okay, do you want to put the rest in the bowl? Yeah. Okie dokie. Oh, just the one last little mouthful there. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That was, in fact, pitta bread. Pitta bread, like a pitta pocket. Oh. Yeah? 
Okay, pit of bread. Okay. Right, so are you ready for number two? Yeah, one all now. Oh, I've got this one. <laughs> Come on, there, there's your bowl. Where? It is crispy, you're right. <laughs> I love how thoughtful you're being. <laughs> uh, we do have a bit of a time limit on the service. <laughs> is it toasted bread? No, unfortunately, it is crispy bread. <laughs> I think I think we might have to give that. Give she that. did say okay, we'll give that word. Yeah, we'll give that. Well done, right. Zoe. Okay, I think you've got now, one, one, one might more be each. A little bit hard for you, Mine, but we'll see how you get on. Come on, Mine. Don't worry, I've got an even harder one for Zoe afterwards. Yeah. Oh, you've got this. <laughs> right, Mine. Here you go. Can you feel it in there? Got it. How's that feel? Soft. Have a little sniff or a taste. <laughs> You're listening to it. <laughs> okay. It has a muffly sound. Okay. It's not tiger bread then. Crumbly. You're going to give it a shot. What do you reckon it might be? Don't have to eat it all if you don't want to. I've got the bowl here. That's it. Well done. <laughs> what do you think? Give it a shot. Don't know. Not sure. Okay. What was it, Amory? That was brioche bread. Brioche. It's a bit sweeter. <laughs> so it should have been bread. <laughs> He's disappointed right. in himself. Sorry, Mina. <laughs> You're st <laughs> right. One all. <laughs> Maybe because it was missing the chocolate chips, he didn't. <laughs> it was plain brioche. Yeah, I like it with peanut butter. <laughs> How can I still be one? Oh, I've got those horrible crackers. <laughs> so I have to do that. It's a cracker. Do I um, need to do the flavour of it? Uh. <laughs> I want to know the name of the bread. Does it have any flavour? <laughs> Is that a Ribita? No. N no. Oh, it's disgusting, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that one was actually your mum, Matza. It was Jewish flatbread oh. that they eat for Passover. <laughs> I mean, why didn't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant job. Okay, can we give... Our volunteers, a round of applause. Well done. Right, we can take that off you, Mine. Oh, all right. Up you get. Well done. Okie dokie. Let's quickly clear. Brill. All right, manage. Yep. Excuse us whilst we just move the things out the way. Thank you to Zoe and Mino. That was really brilliant. It's amazing, isn't it, how many different types of bread there are actually uh, in the world, I guess, all over the world, different types. And that was only six. Okie dokie. So, as part of our um, summer series, um, we also um, did a part in each service where we had a discussion question come up on the screen. So, that discussion question is hopefully going to pop up on the screen now. So, what I'd love for you to do is to speak to the person next to you just for a couple of minutes, have a little discuss about this question, um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go down, go around with the microphone and see what you come up with. So, besides food or besides bread, what else then do we need to live? Have a little conversation with your mums and whoever you've come with, and we're going to come around shortly and ask you and see what you've come up with. 
for them to press that to get yeah. it on. Yeah, that's ready. Just going to give you one more minute. And guys, if there's any of you at home that would like to answer this question as well, please do type that and send it to us in the, feet, in the little box. And we'll see if we get any from online as well. Besides food or bread, what else do we need to live? Hmm, okay. Brilliant. Okay, guys. Right. If you have an answer to this question, Anne-Marie's going to come around with the mic and hopefully we'll all be able to hear you. So please do pop your hands up and Anne-Marie's going to come on round. So straight to Reuben, I think. Do we have an answer, Reuben? Chocolate. You need chocolate to live? I mean, I mean, yeah. There's definitely an argument for that. Cool, yep, go for it. Water. Water, yes, you definitely need water. Got mine right here. Sorry. Oh, Lily Jane, what do you think? We need trees. Trees, yeah, we do. We do need trees, you're absolutely right. Yeah, they give us some oxygen, don't they? We need what was it? the word of God. We need the word of God. Oh, Mina, I knew I could rely on you. <laughs> we need crisps. Crisps. I mean, it's a food. It's a potato. Yes. Okay. Anyone else? An, edu an education. Education. Love that. Yeah, absolutely. Oxygen. Oxygen. 100%. Shelter. Shelter, brilliant. Yeah, we definitely need that. Bumblebees. Bumblebees, yes we do. And as a big bee fan, I'm very for that. Yes. We Exercise. Do need... Exercise, yeah, we need to look after our bodies. Awesome. Love. Love, yeah, absolutely. Anyone over this side of the room that was, hasn't given... An idea, but has one. Oh, Tim's got one. Well done, Tim. Thank you. Encouragement. Encouragement. Lovely. Yes, definitely. I think Justina's got one. Air. Air, 100%. Lovely, Amory. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. Brilliant. Awesome. We need light. Was that light? Light. Light, yes, we definitely do, don't we? I love it when it's sunny. Anyone else? Last one or two. Penny, you're the last one then. Thank you so much. Make it good, Penny. Discipline. Di My goodness, that's one to finish with, isn't it? But you are right. <laughs> Lovely. Brilliant. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right. Thank you so much, everyone, for um, taking part in that and giving us your feedback and ideas. Hopefully, I'm going to touch on um, some of those things a little bit later on. But before that, we are going to sing again. Um, so I'm going to invite the band up, please. Um, we're going to sing. Um, it's an action song. I know you all love those. Um, it's called I Give Thanks. And if you came to the harvest service last year, you would have sung this song. Um, it's really easy to pick up, the chorus particularly. Um, so I'm going to teach you the actions for the chorus. Um, there are actions for the, all of the verses, but that would take too long. I'm just going to, you know, jump around up here like I normally do, probably getting it wrong, but hopefully getting some of it right. Um, and if you want to um, copy, that would be fantastic. So if you could just stand and I'll just teach you the actions for the chorus first. Do you want to actually play it? 
Oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's play the chorus through twice. Yeah, I was just going to say it. You have to strap in for this one. Okay, <laughs> Ellen hasn't told you that yet. Right. <laughs> okay. Chorus twice, yes. Okay, let's go, go through twice. <laughs> I give you all my thanks. I give thanks to you, my heavenly Father, for giving me such good things. I give you all my thanks. I even got it wrong. Let me just do it again, <laughs> it quietly. So it's so it's. I give thanks to you, my heavenly Father. You've given me such good things. I give you all my thanks. Oh, see, it's fine. We can do this together. We can do it. Right. Are we ready? No. no. <laughs> let's, let's go, guys. Come on, children. I know you can do it. Let's do it all together. Right, let's go. <laughs> I give thanks to you, my Heavenly Father, for giving me such good things. I give you all my thanks. I give thanks to you, my Heavenly Father, You've given me such good things, I give you all my thanks. For seals and squids, seals and squids, and great blue whales, and great blue whales, for slugs and spiders, slugs and, spiders and a bucket of snails, and a bucket of snails. I give you thanks, I give you thanks for all that you've made, all that you've made, the wonders of creation, the wonders of creation, everywhere displayed, everywhere displayed. Are you ready? I give thanks <laughs> to you, my heavenly Father. You've given me such good things, I give you all my thanks. I give thanks to you, my Heavenly Father. You've given me such good things, I give you all my thanks. For prunes and pizza, stir fried stew, chocolate and jelly, all come from you. You feed me and you clothe me, watch over my sleep. Cause you are my shepherd, you are my shepherd, and I'm your sheep. Yeah. I give thanks to you, my heavenly Father. You've given me such good things. I give you all my thanks. I give thanks to you, my heavenly Father. You've given me such good things. I give you all my thanks. Father God, Father God, in heaven above, in heaven above, you're holy and just. With amazing love, with amazing love, you're merciful and kind, merciful and kind, and you love to forgive, and you love to forgive. And being your child, being your child is, the only way to live. is the only way to live. I give thanks to you, my heavenly Father. You've given me such good things. I give you all my thanks. I give thanks to you, my heavenly Father. You've given me such good things. I give you all my thanks. Okay, well done, everyone. I think you all deserve a massive round of applause. Oh, it's so, so easy to get confused in that one. Please do take a seat. And thank you so much for taking part. Oh, my goodness me. Okie dokie. I'm just going to pop that down there. Take a sip of this. Because as usual, I've done an action song just before I'm about to speak. So, just give me a moment. Brilliant. Okay, guys. Brilliant job. Children, I hope you've all got your listening ears on. And I hope all your beady eyes are on me. <gasps> right. Food. Who loves bread? Put your hands up if you love bread. I do love bread. Really love it. Okay. Who loves food of any kind? Yeah. But there's got to be something that we all love, I hope. So, very quickly then, what is your favourite food? Put your hand up if you've got a favourite food and we'll just shout a couple out. Let's I want some from this side of the room. Curry. 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 Pizza. Pizza. Ice cream, chocolate, Ruben. You said chocolate earlier. Got anything? 
Cereal. Love that, Leland. Go for it. Macaroni and pizza. Love that, Lily Jane. Yeah. No. Beans on toast. Mina, you're my last ones. Go for it. Pizza. Quick. Okay. Just hold that thought. Tell me after. Brilliant. Okay. Go quickly then. Crisps, I think, is eating them right now. Burgers. Awesome. Okay. So, plenty of different types of food. I love food. I don't always go for the healthiest options, like a lot of us here, it sounds, but I do enjoy eating. And I'm sure he won't mind me saying, but dinner time is one of the highlights of Simon's day. He loves food, and it's the part of the day that he looks forward to the most, I think. Food, it must be quite important if it's included in this special prayer that Jesus taught his friends. And there must be a reason for it. Remember, this prayer is a bit of a template or an instruction manual on how to pray and what kind of things we should include when we pray. <clears throat> and the importance of daily food is here to fulfill one of our basic human needs. We all need to eat, because if we didn't, we'd get poorly and eventually die, which isn't great at all. But I wonder if this part of the Lord's Prayer is only referring to eating. In simple terms, when we pray, we thank God for what he's done, we say sorry for the things we've done wrong, and we ask God for things we need. Some of you might remember that by using the abbreviation for teaspoon, T-S-P. Thank you, sorry, please. Give us our food for today is a request. It's asking and generally, when we ask, we say please. So this part of the Lord's Prayer is a please prayer. Is Jesus encouraging us to simply ask God for the physical food we need each day, or is there a deeper suggestion here? Back in the summer series, we touched on the story of Jesus in the desert when he was tempted. And I want to read part of that story to you again now. <clears throat> After Jesus had gone without eating for 40 days and nights, he was very hungry. Then the devil came to him and said, If you are God's son, tell these stones to turn into bread. Jesus answered, The scriptures say no one can live only on food. People need every word that God has spoken. No one can live only on food. So, if you hadn't already guessed it, this isn't about just the bread roll or donut that we can pop into our mouths each day. There is much more to this please prayer. We all of us here need every word that God has spoken. We, might, we need what we might call spiritual food. Our bodies need to be fed physically for strength and nutrition. But our spirit, our soul, our mental well-being needs to be fed as well. Something in us yearns for spiritual food. If that food is missing from our lives, it might feel like a hole inside of us or a sense of there must be something more. It could be a feeling of there's something missing in me. It's hard to describe, but I think you might know what I'm talking about if you've ever felt that way. Or you might be feeling that 
right now. And it can feel quite painful. Our God is so good. He is goodness. And he can provide what we need to fill that hole. That something missing, that space. He can give us our spiritual food for today and every day if we ask him. And that is what Jesus was encouraging us to ask for in the Lord's Prayer. Father, give us, give me what I need for today. Sometimes we don't know what we need. Sometimes we do know, but we're either too afraid to ask or we don't know how to ask. Do you know what? God knows regardless. He sees us. He sees you and he sees me. In Psalm 139, it says, You created my inmost being. We are known by God more than anyone else. He knows what we need. God is our provider. And that's particularly significant at harvest when we take time to remember all that he's given us. Traditionally, we'd be thanking God for a fruitful harvest of crops and grown produce at this time of year. And of course, we're thankful to him for those things. But God gives us so much more. He gives us the air we breathe, the food we eat, and the water we drink. He provides family and friends, love, forgiveness, peace, wisdom. He gives us rest, sleep, energy, education, a home, health care, and hope. In the Bible, in the book of James, it tells us that every good gift we have comes from our Heavenly Father, who does not change, but who is faithful to us. And in the book of Luke, a few sentences after teaching his friends the Lord's Prayer, Jesus goes on to say, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Jesus tells us directly to come to God and boldly ask him for what we need. He tells us this because God is our heavenly father. He's our heavenly dad. And he is so good. And he wants good things for us because he loves us. Give us our food for today is in the Lord's Prayer because it is an invitation to ask God for what we need on a daily basis. To ask him not only for the physical food we need, but also for the whole filling, something's missing food that our inmost being craves. It's about connection with our provider God, and building a relationship with our heavenly dad who gives us good gifts. Gifts that bless us, change us, and turn our lives around. Maybe you've come this morning struggling, or you're carrying something and it just feels so heavy, or you have that sense in your stomach, in your gut sometimes, that something is missing. Maybe there is something you need from our provider, God, today. We're going to do a little prayer activity. In just a moment, we're going to pass around some little pieces of paper. They look like this. On the paper is a bread roll. Inside the roll, please can you write or draw something that you would like to say thank you to God for, or something you would like to ask God for, or both. You could do a thank you and a please, or you could just do a thank you or just a please. 
Once you've done that, can I encourage you to come and place those prayers at the foot of the cross over here. You won't be on camera at that point. As you place them at the cross, this is a symbol of handing them over to God and asking him for his help. For those of you watching at home, can I encourage you to sit quietly and offer either prayers of thanks or requests, please prayers to God, or write them down too if you have paper to hand. The paper is going to come round and there are some pens and we'll pass them down your aisle. Once you've written it, please do feel free, as soon as you're happy and done, to come and pop them um, at the foot of the cross. If you can't make that journey yourself, perhaps the person next to you would bring it for you. Let's do that now. Yeah, please. Lovely job. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Awesome. That's amazing. I'm blown away 
by the number of you that have taken part. Thank you so much. Don't worry about it for now, my sweet. We'll do it at the end. Lovely. Okay, I'm just going to say a covering prayer over all of these thank yous and pleases and prayer requests that we've just popped at the cross. God, we thank you that you are our provider, God. That you long to have relationship with us and to be that dad to us. We thank you that you hear us and you see us and the requests and thank yous that we've placed at your cross this morning. We offer them to you now, Lord. Amen. I would really like to encourage you to come and have prayer at the end of the service this morning. If you have come today wanting to ask God for something, you might have already put it at the foot of the cross. But we've got a lovely prayer ministry team that will be available to pray with you at the end of the service today. And I really do feel that there are people here today that God wants to minister to. And when we say minister to, we mean come to, bring you peace, help you with whatever it is. I'd also like to suggest that if when I'm saying that, you've got this feeling in your stomach, almost feels a little bit like butterflies or nerves, that's often a sign of God saying, yes, yeah, you, it's you. I have got business to do with you today and business in the tender way. So please, please don't go today without being prayed for if you have that feeling in your stomach or if you've come today knowing that you need to ask God for something. Okay. I am going to hand over to Simon. He's going to lead us in our final song. Thank you. Please stand. In Christ alone my hope is found He is my light, my strength, my song This cornerstone, this solid ground Firm through the fiercest drought and storm What heights of love, what depths of peace when fears are stilled, when striving cease, my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on that cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied. Him was laid here in the death of Christ I live there in the ground his body lay 
Light of the world by darkness slain, then bursting forth in glorious day. Up from the grave he rose again, and as he stands in victory, since curse has lost its grip on me. With the precious blood of Christ No guilt in life No fear in death This is the power of Christ in me From life's first cry to breath Jesus commands my destiny no power of hell no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home here in the power of Christ I stand no power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ, I'll stand. Okay, so just as we close our service today, you can sit um, down. You can <laughs> sit. Sorry, take a seat. <laughs> sorry. Um, if you've really enjoyed today's service and you're willing and able, we'd love you to share it on social media and spread the word. This morning, um, we'd also like to invite you to a time of coffee, please. Uh, we have coffee at the end of the corridor, uh, just out of the doors, and turn right. Um, please grab a coffee and stay and get to know people and deepen our friendships more. Um, also, can I remind you that at the back of the church by the exits, there is a clear box for you to place your offering. Um, we do thank God for the offerings that are given uh, week on week and through the bank's banking system. Um, but please, if you'd like to give to our work here at Thornhill or even put your BMS envelope in the back offering box as well that would be lovely as you leave brilliant i'd like to remind you that next week after the morning service we have a bring and share lunch that's the 8th of october um, if you would like to join us for the bring and share lunch which we hope many of you will please can you bring a savory and or dessert dish which is sufficient for your own needs and others Thank you so much. Oh, hey, Mason. Oh, yeah, I know. Awesome job. Right, can I also just remind you um, that if you would like prayer um, after the end of the service, if something has come up for you today or you've come today feeling that you need prayer, and we're going to do something slightly different, and we're going to do prayer ministry on this side of the church this morning because we've got it's quite busy over here. So please, please don't go without being prayed for this morning. Um, and Amory is just going to close for us. So let's uh, end our service this morning with a blessing. May the blessing of God who cycles the seasons and swells the grain go with us. May the blessing of the sun who harvests and kneads and breaks the bread go with us. May the blessing of the spirit who challenges us to, just, to a just share of earth's harvest go with us now and into the week ahead. Amen. Amen. Have a great week, everyone.